empire of fraud and corruption is on the run. We are the resistance. And again, ladies and gentlemen, none of us are perfect. None of us have all the answers. But we know the globalists are running things. There is a new world order. It's being set up now. And their hoax of saying none of this existed has now been exposed. The scales are off people's eyes. But they're still trying to figure out exactly what they're seeing. Let me tell you some of you're a new listener. The only chance we've got is admitting this is going on, studying it, and then seeing historically how others have been able to stop it. And the biggest issue is not complying. In 2014, the awakening is going to accelerate. I'll continue to break this down on the three-hour weekday show tomorrow. We'll continue this same topic of what was the biggest stories in 2013. Not the biggest establishment fake stories, the biggest to you. And then what do you see happening in 2014? But I'll tell you, the humat or the human intelligence I'm getting from callers is helping me understand next year. And I'm really connecting with what you're saying. And it's just such a blessing. It is such a blessing to be here. Let me mention a few stories and go back to your calls. Florida neighborhood bans kids from playing in the street. That's United Press International reporting that. Now, we're talking about neighborhoods where there is nothing but street in between the residential. And then now they say people are following orders. No children are seen outside. They'll play television and get big, fat, and obese. When I was a kid, my parents didn't let me stay in the house. Cartoons were for Saturday morning. The kids next door that played proto video games like Atari, they were wimps. We played football, baseball, and fist fights all day outside. Climb trees, you know, stole watermelons from the local farmer, you name it. But the whole deal is nowadays, and I'm only a few times, you know what I mean. I lived in the edge of the city, but we could walk like five miles and five fa find farms. And, you know, some farmer would see us in their field run us off. Kids now are unhealthy because they watch television all day and they play video games all day. But that's not the issue. No, just ban being on the street in Florida because it's dangerous to be on the sidewalk. You might get hit. Here's another one. Social workers take children from families who overfeed them. And now with the mass body index, Jakari Jackson went to one of these Walmart, one of our reporters, one of these Walmart doctor robot kiosks. There's video of it on PrisonPlanet.tv. And it's like, you are overweight, 25 pounds. I mean, Jakari looks like a fitness model. He's not even bulky. He's just super muscular. And he's overweight and you will be fined under Obamacare. And like $5,000 extra a year because he's not a totally skinny person. So that's the type of news and information we've got. Let's continue here. Calorie info coming to vending machines. You know why under federal law and Obamacare that does that? They don't care if there's aspartame or GMO or corn syrup. No, it's just the total calories, and they're going to tax you in the future. They've already said this, just like New York. Per bag, what it is in social engineering, you'll be penalized. Kind of like my buddy took his daughter to the hospital uh, today over th this uh, bacteria that's raging across the country. And they're calling it flu, but I've got family that's died from it, family Barely, you know, fighting for their lives over it. No, it's 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 a drug resistant staff. We've now confirmed it. We have the name, the whole deal. But they go buy flu shots. That'll protect you. They don't even test you when you go in. And you're sick. It's like, oh, we're just giving you flu shots, which can push you over the edge and kill you when you already have a bacterial infection. Uh, but it was nothing but illegal aliens in there getting free health care. And then in the parking lot, there's multiple rows at the hospital. My buddy sent it to me. I'm going to do a story tomorrow on it in Austin for electric cars. Of course, there are no electric cars, but it's all part of this social engineering where they're going to penalize you if you don't do what the system wants. So here it is. Calorie info coming to vending machines. World health experts want to have sugar consumption. We actually ate more sugar 60 years ago. I've looked at the studies. It's the GMO that's making us obese. It does it to rats and things. And I'm not saying sugar's good. With everything else your body's bombarded with, it does hurt your immune system. Processed sugar is bad. But they don't say processed sugar. They say fruit, you name it. Sugar, period. See how they do this? And it's all about government controlling what you eat. All right, there's those reports. Um, oh, look, AP, NSA grabs your computers on the way to be delivered to you and puts technology on them to spy on you without warrants. Non-terror related, totally illegal. Exposed. The Soviet Union spent $1 billion on mind control programs. 
The news of Australia. Oh, really? What do you think our nightly news is? It's mind control. That is just some of what we're dealing with. Here's some more. France's 75% tax rate gains approval by top court. That's on the poor people. 75% tax. Mortgage rise will plunge a million homeowners into perilous debt. Lennon Guardian. That's the plan. Mark Faber predictions 2014. The market will decline from current levels. Best shorts, Facebook, Tesla, Twitter, Netflix, and Viva Systems. Best longs, gold, gold shares, Vietnamese stocks. I agree with that. I don't even, I'm not even in the stock market, but I watch it every day. I know more than the average so-called stock watcher. <laughs> I'm not in that Weimar Republic thing, and I'm not in Bitcoin either. I don't get into dangerous bubbles, folks. You can be mad at me, but I'm staying away from the stock market. Sure, I could be part of it. I could have made tens of millions, literally, watching it, knowing how these scams really work. But I will not be part of something that obviously immoral. And I'm not on some high horse. All of my advisors told me 15 years ago, invest in prison stocks. This country's going pure prison. Prison stocks are up 300% in the last decade on average. I didn't invest in them. I told you 10 years ago. I said, if you're immoral, invest in prison stocks. I'm not doing it. All right, let me hit this final stuff, then I'll go to your phone calls. Look at this. New law allows driverless cars on Michigan roads. I, I, last time I checked, it's like 20 states have passed laws allowing driverless cars and 18-wheelers. Folks, they're not just going to supplant humans driving cars. They're, the insurance company said 12 years ago when I was reading some of their public uh, meetings put out in, in, a, in a meeting in Chicago. I'll never forget reading. It was hundreds of pages of it. it they said that they're going to first phase in computer cars and trucks. Then they're going to show that they're, quote, safer, and then make it be computer-assisted at first, where the computer takes over, as Toyota now does, if you're not, and Lexus, if you're not driving properly. And then soon, sorry, you don't get to drive. And then that brings in total control. I mean, we are being turned into like those fat walrus creatures in the movie Wally, -E, laying out on some computer-controlled system. But the truth is, they're not going to let us get to that level of a bunch of self-propelled stomachs. They're going to use computers to take over the real economy, use our energy and money to build the grid so the military can't say no to evil wars. It'll be a bunch of self-autonomous drones and robots that, by the way, are already self-autonomous. That's been out for four years. They just declassified it last week, as I told you they would. And this is their total plan. They've decided that there's a total revolution in society. We don't exist in it. The decision's been made. And if you don't want to be extincted, because that's the final plan, as the elite merge with the machines, that's their public plan, Google all of them, then you better wake up and be part of this. And not just say, oh, that's that crazy Texan. Yeah, I'm a crazy Texan that reads what they say they're going to do 15 years ago, 10 years ago. Here's another one. I, and I already knew this from DARPA documents that came out of MIT about four years ago. They, when you're online and these millions of people playing these video games, these weapon simulators, these combat games where millions are online at one time battling, you're fighting computers that are AI tracking off real military hardware that you're simulating using it's the actual real hardware control and they are training combat robots in simulators the chips against the best humans boom new york times now i've told you this a hundred times here it is new york times brain like computers learning from experience in the combat realm i mean this is not a game ladies and gentlemen this is not a joke this is serious. The elite have always hated big populations, and labor's never been cheaper. Now we're not just cheap, we're a negative. Do you understand that? I said I'd take calls, I'm out of time. Jason in Georgia, let's move quick. What are your predictions for 2014? What was the big story of 2013? Well, I don't know, but I tell you, if, if they keep on doing what they're doing, the new world order is going to win. Uh, Alex, I appreciate all the news that you give us, uh, like me and a lot of other people, we cannot even stand the mainstream news anymore. Your analysis of the news is what drives us, and we appreciate you doing that. God bless you, brother. If uh, the New World Order is like the boy who cried wolf, every time somebody makes a prediction, the bad wolf sees what is going to happen. And what he decides to do with the little boy is he'll show himself, and then when the villagers come, 
you'll hide again. I agree. And then incrementally, people say, where's the new world order? Where's the depression? We're in a depression, but the wolf says we're not in one, so people buy into that. Great point. I'm sorry to everybody else. Jeff and Eric and Hunter, call me back tomorrow on the weekday show, 11 a.m. Central. We'll be talking. We're going to be live the next few days with the weekday show and the nightly news, 7 o'clock. Great job to the crew. I'll see you next Sunday in the new year. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com.